telegraph. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map there should be a quarry here, and behind that the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master? It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Mines. This is interesting. It would be quite possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Here are the mines, Holmes. They appear to be abandoned. Nothing interesting here. The distance between the tracks is about four feet eight inches. A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. There is a wooden beam lying on the rails. 
A small vehicle with wooden beams went down this way. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. It seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. But you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Because of your cigars. Si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation? What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. We were due to arrive yesterday. They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. Buenas tardes. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. <laughs> 